What's up, everybody? It's your boy Marsman here, and today we're going to talk about Book of Hours. After the relatively successful Cultist Simulator was released back in 2018, Weather Factory, the London based husband and wife team, had announced the combat free RPG Book of Hours. With this emphasis on narrative crafting experiences, Weather Factory is looking to continue its momentum from its recent success in the new IP. Does Book of Hours match the level of Weather Factory titles? Is it worth buying? I give the good, the bad, and give my rating and in my final verdict. Let's start off with the good. One of the best aspects of the game has to be the art style. I think the storybook design of the game does give a cool aesthetic. The entire game is basically written in a book and sections are hidden in smoke that have to be unlocked with a combination of actions, giving the entire region a coded mystery and feel like it was an older era book. Since it was, takes place in the 1930s, it really does show how Weather Factory had mirrored the time with the design of the game itself. The characters, locations, and just overall art design was on point. Even if the story aspect was not massive in scale, one of the cool aspects of Book of Hours is the ability to reach different story areas in different ways. I had experienced two methods to move on to new sections of the map or areas of the Hush House. The given ability to strategize and pick your path definitely was impressive. Finding specific people and using certain items gives you the stats needed to unlock more rooms in the Hush House. It may seem simple, but it definitely can be challenging at times giving players an emphasis to find their way to progress through the story. The best aspect overall must be the music. The tunes being played throughout the game honestly set the stage so well with melancholy tracks that give the chill vibe the game sets. A sense of wonder and mystery is set throughout the music and I honestly felt it was such a hidden gem when comparing to some other games that don't really emphasize their tunes. A mixture of chorus and string instruments do give the music life. I think a lot of games do not give the same effort when developing the music of their IPs that doesn't add to the mood of the game. You have to give credit to Weather Factory for going the extra mile in this aspect. And with the good, we have to talk about the bad. One of the problems I had with the game was the brutal intro. I feel as though you have no idea what to do and there really wasn't much of a tutorial to explain the method to success. The basic idea is they use energy to find particular people and items to help boost stats to progress through certain rooms or boundaries. But even that being the case, they really do not give you any indication on the best path, especially in the beginning of the game. On my first playthrough, I was completely lost and actually had missed out on core memories that I could have used to progress the game quicker. It almost feels like you are expected to know how the game works without actually given any info on how to do so. Since they don't really give you much guidance, the game feels more dragging than it should be. I completely understand the combat free aspect, but they do have some mishaps in explaining the basic way the game works to newcomers of the genre. If they were to give you some indication on the best path, especially in the beginning, at least some players would have had more practice before hitting the rest of the game. At times, the mechanics needed to progress were not clear and for newcomers to the genre that might put them off. Lastly the story was pretty basic. I'm not going to hate on the story itself because there's a lot of things to investigate along the way but even then it just felt like it could have been more. I enjoyed the smaller interactions between the different townsfolk and the story developed there but I felt like there could have just been more here. The story is that your goal is to rebuild the hush house which was a massive library with insane amounts of knowledge. Sounds captivating, I know, but maybe you could give more mysteries in the rooms you unlock or in the side characters that give your actions more weight overall. I feel as if it was just a missed opportunity. Overall, I felt the Book of Hours had positives and negatives. The art style really stood out and made the game feel unique. Weather Factory did a great job of creating an atmosphere that would set Book of Hours apart compared to other RPG games out there. The bland story and the lack of any guidance to the basic mechanics made the game feel very very drawn out. Even with that being the case, Book of Hours definitely hits the combat free RPG well and gives fans of Weather Factory something to enjoy. I'm giving Book of Hours a 6.5 out of 10. Some fun aspects to play and once you get the hang of the gameplay, you can really enjoy the majority of the game. At some parts it can feel drawn out, but the music really kills it and makes me sit back and enjoy the tunes the entire time. If you enjoy combat free RPGs, I think it'd be worth the purchase. But what do you think about Book of Hour? Are you interested in buying this? Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you like this type of content, make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more future content. Until next time, this is Marsman signing off. Peace out, guys.